Last fall, walking in the Roman neighborhood of Monteverde, my wife and I saw this striking poster with just three words. La belleza salva. Beauty saves. As I teach on Zoom and see my students struggling to make sense of the onslaught of the coronavirus, of the disruptions to our world, of the ineptitude and absence of empathy by our so-called leader, the message of that poster keeps coming back into my mind. But what is beauty? Beauty is a relative thing. It shifts with different cultural contexts. But if we experience beauty, it touches and remains with us always. And the world is full of beauty. The heroism of health practitioners and first responders saving lives or accompanying the ill to a dignified death. That is beautiful. The poor, at the great risk to their lives, going to work so that they can keep the world going. That is beautiful. People of every race and age, but mostly the young, demonstrating for justice and for an end to systemic racism. That is beautiful. Most of all, our students, who are indeed our only real future, striving to learn, trying to keep the bonds of sociability alive, refusing to be silenced in the face of injustice. That too is beautiful. If we are to be saved, it will be by the incandescent beauty of the young, building from the ruins of this world a more humane and just future. But if beauty saves, then we must ask ourselves, what part will we play in building the new world? How are we to bring beauty into it?